Hi, I'm Louis Réon. Bienvenue à l'Académie Culinaire. Today we're going to make a wonderful shepherd's pie, but with a twist. So I'm going to get my ingredients out. You'll be needing some ground beef, onions, some spices that I'll talk about. And let's start with the onion. When you want to dice an onion, lay it flat on a cut piece. And don't cut directly through to the root part. That's going to help you keep the onion in one piece. And then you can cut it halfway, set it on its side, and dice it very easily. While our onions are browning, before I put in the ground beef, we're going to cook our spaghetti squash which is the first little twist in our fresh and healthy shepherd's pie. Now, spaghetti squash is in season. It's very inexpensive. All winter long, you can find it pretty much anywhere. And it's very easy to cook. Now, let's first cut it. Be careful when you're cutting your squash. Use a big knife that's very sharp and push it right into your squash. Then bring it down to the bottom. and go right around. Then break it in two. This is what you have. I'll let your onions burn. Now we only need half of the squash for the recipe. What you'll want to be doing is scooping out all of the inside where the seeds are. So with a big, big spoon, work your way around the seeds and scoop everything out. So you see here, the seeds can be used as a nice little snack. Just take them apart from the rest of the, the inside of the squash, season them, salt, pepper, and a little bit of olive oil, set them on a cookie sheet, and you can give them to the kids or have them yourself on a soup or just like that, they're very nice. I'll take care of this later. Now, the inside of the squash, we want to season it a little bit. So, salt, and fresh ground pepper is all you really need. Some people might want to put a little bit of nutmeg, butter, that's always nice, but salt and pepper, you don't go wrong with this. You set it upside down on a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper so you don't have to clean too much and it goes right into the oven. Now that our onions are browned and our spaghetti squash is in the oven, we have to brown the meat. So lean ground beef goes right into the, the pan with the onions. Break it up. Don't forget to season your meat. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And in this case, our other twist is adding a little bit of cumin. Now, powdered cumin will give it a very nice exotic taste. If you don't like cumin, don't use it or use something else. So while your meat is browning, we can take care of our sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are going to be used instead of ordinary potatoes and instead of cooking them to a mash, we're going to slice them very thinly and use them as a layer on top of our, of our shepherd's pie. So first off, let's cut off the ends and let's peel them. Your sweet potato can be cut on a mandolin or on a food processor with a blade, rotating blade. If you're using a mandolin, be careful, do use the guard so you don't cut yourself. Once everything's cut, Set everything into a bowl, and now it's time to season. Salt and pepper and a bit of olive oil. So, mix everything in. Blend the seasoning and the oil with the sweet potatoes. And let it sit for a little while, just while you're getting the rest of your stuff ready for the shepherd's pie. Now, look at after an hour, of, an hour, an hour and a half, depending on how big your um, squash is and how hot your oven is. You see our squash is really nice and tender. It comes apart in these spaghetti-shaped 
filaments, and this is what you're looking for. Something that's caramelized, very, very nice and well cooked. So now that this is cooked, we want to season it after the cooking with a little bit of butter if you want it rich. If you don't, then omit the butter and let it melt in here. And do add a little bit, a pinch of nutmeg after cooking to keep the nice aromas, the nutmeg. Nutmeg and squash goes really well together. So we're ready to put together this fresh and healthy shepherd's pie together. First into our dish goes the meat. Nice and brown, very well seasoned. It's got all the nice onion taste, caramelized onion. And this is our base level. Second stage of our shepherd's pie is this beautiful spaghetti squash that's been well seasoned. So scoop everything out onto your meat. And this is your second level. Another different twist on the shepherd's pie is adding a fourth component. Now, I like to add a little bit of a very nice green vegetable by adding some fresh spinach leaves right on top of the squash to give it a nice little color and also a little bit of uh, green freshness. So now we're ready for the sweet potatoes. They've been seasoned with salt, pepper and a bit of olive oil. And now all we have to do is set these nice thinly sliced sweet potatoes on top like you would on a gratin dauphinois. In a hot oven, 350 degrees for about an hour. When it's nice and golden, crispy on top, it's ready. So we're pretty much done. You can sprinkle a little bit of fresh thyme on top for looks and for the fragrance. And you're ready to serve this beautiful dish. It could be served as a first course or a main course with a salad. It's very inexpensive, it's very hearty, wonderful for those cold winter nights. There you go. You've seen how easy it was. Hope you have good cooking.